real life, working from home, sweats, um, a cut off tee that like probably has a little side boob, and a Frenchie. Hello. Say hi, Luke. Say hello to the people. <laughs> you know, I'd put my slippers on to complete my home working from home apparel, but somebody, excuse me, excuse me, somebody ate them. Who ate the slippers? Who ate the slippers, Luke? Was it you? Did you eat them? Did you eat the slippers? Did you eat the slippers? <laughs> What is up you guys? Happy August 5th. Have you set some new goals for this month? On the 2nd, yeah I know I didn't do it on the 1st, I'm not perfect, but on the 2nd I sat down and did my 7 step goal setting activity and set some pretty stellar goals for this month and I'm so excited. You guys, the new month is always an opportunity to really get clear on where you're at with your life, with the things that you want, and making sure that your actions, the things that you're doing every single day, asking yourself, are they in line with the things that I want, the outcomes that I desire from life? Um, and really getting clear on the actions that you need to replace maybe some old patterns and behaviors with so that you can get a little bit closer to reaching those ideal outcomes. One of my mental emotional goals was to Stop overthinking so much and just do. You know, if overthinking burned calories, I'd probably never have to do cardio ever again. Can anybody relate? Like, can you relate? I know that there's so many females watching my channel, so I know that many of you can probably relate. And it's part of the reason why I haven't been posting on YouTube because I overthink what you guys want to see. Like, will they actually care? Do they even want to hear what I have to say? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm hearing these fear gremlins and these like irrational thoughts and these beliefs. And I teach that stuff. You guys, I teach mindset. I teach that to my clients every single day. Um, but it doesn't make me armored against having those irrational thoughts and those self-doubts. And so I just want you to know that if that's something that you're struggling with, you are not alone. We're all just healing humans, trying to do our best. And as long as you create an awareness of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and allow yourself not to accept staying in that spot. Unless you want to stay stuck there, then that's fine, but I'm assuming that you probably don't. Um, I know that I don't and I didn't, and so it's creating clarity again on what are the actions that you need to put in place despite the fear, despite the self-doubt, in order to create new thought patterns, behaviors, habits, um, to get you to ultimately where you want to go. So. Um, I want to jump right in today. I'm going to be filming a full day of eating for you guys. Um, I just gave a little bit of an update on my Instagram stories um, regarding sort of what my current approach to nutrition is right now, what my goals are, um, and you know what? I might just insert those rather than completely reiterating it. So cut to that. Happy Monday, my friends. Um, I figured I would pop in here. It's been a while since I've given you guys a little bit of an update on sort of what's going on with my fitness goals, what I'm doing, how I'm eating, um, the hormone stuff, the gut stuff. And so I figured I would let you guys know what I'm doing. Okay, so my current approach to eating, to nutrition, to my diet um, is still an intuitive approach, um, essentially just eating when I'm hungry, stopping when I'm full. Um, however, I am an intermittent faster. I've been intermittent fasting for a little over two years now. Um, and I wholeheartedly attribute IF to completely changing the game when it comes to my gut health, to actually helping heal my hormones. Um, I can do a whole other like little educational mini series on intermittent fasting. If that's something you guys wanna learn more about, just let me know. Um, but my approach is intuitively eating um, within an intermittent fasting window. So essentially, the intermittent fasting pattern that I follow is a 16-8 um, fasting to feeding window. And so I'm fasted for 16 hours, which might sound like a lot, but essentially like you're sleeping for most of it. Um, and then I have an eight-hour window to consume all of my food and all of my calories. 
the amount of improvements that I've seen in my digestion as well as just like improved mental clarity, less brain fog, better sleep, less fatigue, way more energy are just some of the benefits um, that I've noticed personally. And there's just really no way that I will ever stop following IF. Um, it's done so many tremendous things for me in my life. Is it for everybody? Absolutely not. There's no one size fits all approach to anything in life. Um, but the way that I teach my clients and just anybody that asks me about IF to kind of look at it is that it's not a diet. It, it is just simply um, a method for which for a timing method for when you eat your food. Like literally, that's it. You're not um, restricting calories. You're literally eating all of your calories just within a set time frame. So I will be teaching some of the basics of intermittent fasting as well as how to set up your own macros based on your goals, your body's needs, and your lifestyle in the eight-week challenge that starts on Monday. Um, if that's something that you would like some more information about, we are still enrolling. Um, enrollment will end on Sunday this week. We start on Monday, so swipe up, get some info. Um, and that kind of leads me into what my next goal is. I do have some goals, and I know that you know when you are being a little bit more accurate about your nutrition, obviously you know what you put in is what you're gonna get out right so um, I have decided that I'm going to jump into the eight-week challenge with my challengers starting on August 12th so I'm so excited to not only be the one teaching training educating um, but to be there right alongside you guys doing it with you um, the way that we'll be deciding the winners for the challenge as well sort of just is really just in, in, in alignment with my style of coaching and just kind of my life in general, um, the transformation challenge winner will not just be based solely on a physical transformation. It will be based on your overall life transformation, mentally, emotionally. So the transformation challenge winner will be based on just an overall transformation. There will be weekly assignments that are very much mindset based and we will be voting as a group for each other. So it'll be very fair voting. Um, we're giving away over $2,000 worth of prizes. The first, place winner um, can either pick straight cash or an expenses paid trip to San Diego to spend a weekend with me. So I'm so excited about that. And I'm just so excited to dive in with the challengers. I recognize that jumping in for me personally is so different um, compared to how things used to be. Um, my desire is coming from a place of love for myself, a place of just I want to challenge myself because it feels good, um, because I want to feel my best and not because, oh my God, I have to diet in order to be validated or be worthy. Um, so it's just such a different mindset and I'm so excited to approach the challenge with the women within the challenge and help them make those mindset shifts as well because uh, that's, guys, it's truly what it's all about. So. That's my update. I hope you guys are having an amazing Monday. And again, you can swipe up here if you wanna learn a little bit more about the challenge. Slide into my DMs if you have any questions. I hope to see so many more of you in there. We start next Monday. So yes, right now I am intuitively eating. Um, and so I wanted to go through a full day of what intuitive eating looks like for me. I do intermittent fasting, so I'm currently breaking my fast at 12.42. Um, technically, following the 16-8 window, I could have broken it at 12.30, but I got busy, so we are breaking it at 12.42, which means that my eating window will go for the next eight hours. Um, I am breaking my fast with these, let's see, mm, delicious, turkey meatballs that I made in the air fryer. Um, they are just lean ground turkey, so the 93% ground turkey, a little bit of olive oil, um, a bunch of seasonings and some salt and pepper. I've got some white rice and I'm going to steam up some spinach. So I've got my protein and fats in the meatballs. I've got my carbs from the rice and my veggies from the spinach. So I will show you guys what it all looks like when it comes together. All right, so 
even though I'm intuitively eating, I do still weigh out my portions simply to make sure that I'm eating enough. Um, especially with a calorie window, um, you really, you do want to make sure that you are still getting in all of your calories for the day. So um, I'm doing five ounces of these turkey meatballs a heaping portion of white rice this is about a cup right here and then i'm going to steam my veggies i don't track or weigh my veg or i'm not tracking at all but i don't weigh my veggies veggies i just i'll just cook them and eat them all right so this is my first meal of the day 12:47, and i'm going to top it with some spicy brown mustard some hot sauce whoa hello and some pink salt. Yum. Chopped it all up. Got my little spicy brown mustard. Rice, veggies, go time. Why isn't it focusing? There we are. Um, I also recognize that for the last couple of years, like since I started YouTube, you guys have always seen me with black hair. But we have lightened things up a little bit here. Ooh, is that a shoulder vein? <gasps> wow. I'm checking back in with you guys to show you what I'm eating next. So it is now 3.40. Um, and isn't it funny? So I talked about, you know, I'm an intuitive eater nowadays. Um, so I'm eating when I'm hungry, stopping when I'm full. Um, and I've become really in tune with my body's hunger signals and cues, like actually being able to register when, when I'm full. Um, something that comes along with extreme dieting is fluctuation in our leptin levels. And that is the hormone that's secreted into the body that helps us regulate our hunger levels. And when we deplete those, it's really hard for us to gauge when we're actually hungry and when we're actually full. And I remember being having this history of just dieting for so many years, I never was truly able to feel feelings of fullness. Um, probably because my calories were obviously in a deficit for so long too, but it was really hard for me to actually reach fullness. Um, and also hard to really figure out, am I actually hungry? Because quite honestly, I always used to feel hungry. And now I feel so balanced to the point where I actually can feel full and satiated um, and my brain actually is able to clearly register when my body needs fuel and nourishment again. And it's honestly just so relieving and freeing. Um, but I want to show you guys what I'm eating next. So this is probably the worst day that I could have done a full day of eating because I'm actually going grocery shopping tonight. Um, so I'm meeting a girlfriend for dinner at Whole Foods, which is cool because I'll be able to show you guys um, how I intuitively eat out and what I'm going to choose um, and I'm getting groceries while I'm there because we're meeting at Whole Foods and I don't have really any groceries right now so kind of picked like a bad day to do <laughs> intuitive eating um, so what I'm eating next though is I have an RX bar um, the macros on this not that I'm tracking but in case you're curious are seven fat 24 carb, 12 protein. I do know that these are low, pretty low in protein, so I'm gonna be having a protein shake with this. Um, one thing that I like to do is just make sure that I am still getting enough protein throughout the day. Um, and then I'm also gonna have a little nanner, um, which is actually like weird and funny story. I used to always hate bananas up until probably like, I'd say probably a month ago, just randomly I was like sitting at my desk working and I had a craving for a banana. And like I said, like I used to hate bananas. Um, so it's just weird how like taste buds change. And now I've been on like a kick with bananas for like the last month. Um, I don't know, has that ever happened to you? Do, have you ever had like a food where you were like, oh, I, I don't like that. And then like all of a sudden you just like randomly start liking it again. I don't know, I'm curious. Let me know, maybe it's just me. Let me know. Yeah, I'm gonna have a protein shake. I'll show you which protein shake I'm drinking. So I just ordered these little, um, what is it? It's five servings. Um, these little five serving pouches from bodybuilding.com. The brand is PE Science. The flavor is Cinnamon Delight. Um, it's not awesome, but it's not terrible. Um, it is a plant-based protein, so you kind of gotta expect it to be like a little bit more greeny and a little bit more 
planty tasting. I have had some good plant-based ones before. Um, I'd rate this one maybe like a six and a half out of 10, a six out of 10. Um, but it's not bad, like I will use it. Uh, but that's why I ordered the small sample ones. I like that you can get those from bodybuilding.com because then you're not committed to like 30 servings and what if it sucks. Um, so I'm gonna have a protein shake. There is half a gram of fat, four carb, and 20 protein per serving. So have a protein shake, have a banana, and an RX bar. And then I'll probably crush out some more work. I've been on client calls all day, just welcomed a few new gals into my Mind Body Life Method program. That's my one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, which I will be closing off really, really soon because we're beginning the challenge on the 12th. Um, and my bandwidth can only be stretched so thin. And I want to make sure that whether you are a challenge client or a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one client, that you get the absolute best of me. I always pride myself on that as a coach with my clients. So. Um, but anyway, back to work. I'm gonna eat this meal and I'll check in with you guys when I eat next time. All right, so I figured I would show you guys, <clears throat> rather than just drinking a shake, I made a little protein pudding. So literally it's just the vegan protein powder. I actually ended up going with the vanilla, um, some chia seeds, and literally just some water. And you stir it until it's like a pudding consistency. All right, so I have a romaine and a spring mix base, and then I'm just gonna load up on a ton of veggies. Um, don't weigh or measure anything, just kinda get what looks good, eyeball it. Still recording when you're like, I just zoomed in on your boobs. <laughs> Look, what? <watch. laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Guys, this is Sarah. You haven't met her yet. She's the love of my life. My long lost. I'm so sleep deprived at the moment. My long lost best. My long lost sister. Actually, I really miss. Blonde sister. So we miss you so much. She just got back from a long ass really? European trip. Yeah, all I right. didn't sleep for 20 minutes. This is all I have so far. This is really sad. She got here before me. Okay. I like to Time to just load up. This is what we're working with right now. And then this is the dressing I get every time. Actually, she put me on this. Um, the organic citrus vinaigrette. Ha! And just to show you guys really quickly, the macros are really good. Uh, it's 30 calories per serving, zero fat, and seven carb. So, pretty macro friendly. And it's bomb. All right guys, so I have turkey, beets, roasted peppers, blueberries, artichokes, Brussels sprouts, some almonds, um, there's some other watermelon and jicama thing in there as well. Um, just a bunch of just yummy goodness. Uh, Sarah, show your salad to the people. I've already eaten like half of it. I don't even know what's in here to be honest. She picks at it while I'm like half. That looks good though. I'm like half a Hector, say hi to the people. Um, <laughs> to the people. <laughs> what do you have? What do you got there? Health and fitness. Mm -hmm. That's a real meal. And oh, here we go. It's a, Vegetables. It's an appetizer. Good. Good for you. <laughs> Hashtag balance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I figured I would show you guys, <clears throat> rather than just drinking a shake, I made a little protein pudding. So literally it's just the vegan protein powder. I actually ended up going with the vanilla, um, some chia seeds, and literally just some water. And you stir it until it's like a pudding consistency. Um, but yeah. I'm so fucking tired right now. Oh, look at you! I miss I'm you vlogging. so much. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> I'm like so sleep deprived right now. All right, so I have a romaine and a spring mix base, and then I'm just gonna load up on a ton of veggies. Um, don't weigh or measure anything. Just kind of get what looks good. Eyeball it. Everything. You will. Of course. 
And the love of my eyes. What? Why is it right in on your boobs? I don't even care. I don't need to. It's fine. I'm still posting it. Do it. Care. My Instagram is super shy. Oh my god, this is still recording when you're like, I just zoomed in on your boobs. <laughs> Look, watch. <laughs> I like really. It was awesome. You. Guys, this is Sarah. You haven't met her yet. She's the love of my life. My long lost. I'm so sleep deprived at the moment. My long lost best. My long lost sister. Actually, I really miss. Blonde sister. We miss you so much. She just got back from a long ass European trip. Yeah, I didn't sleep for 20 This is all I have so far. This is really sad. She got here before me. Okay. I like to. Time to just load up. Be back soon. All right, this is what we're working with right now. And then this is the dressing I get every time. Actually, she put me on this. Um, the organic citrus vinaigrette. Ha! And just to show you guys really quickly, the macros are really good. Uh, it's 30 calories per serving, zero fat, and seven carb. So, pretty macro friendly. And it's bomb. All right, guys, so I have turkey, beets, roasted peppers, blueberries, artichokes. I Brussels sprouts, some almonds, um, there's some other watermelon and jicama thing in there as well. Um, just a bunch of just yummy goodness. Uh, Sarah, show your salad to the people. I've already eaten like half of it. I don't even know what's in here to be honest. She picks at it. Well. I'm like half. Oh, that looks good though. I'm like half asleep. Hector, say hi to the people. Um, <laughs> to the people. <laughs> what do you have? What do you got there? Health and fitness. Mm -hmm. That's a real meal. And oh, here we go. This is the Vegetables. This is an appetizer. Good. Good for you. <laughs> Hashtag balance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, done. Luke, did Mama get you a treat? What's in here? What's in there, Bubba? <gasps> Stretch out those hammies. I just got back from the grocery store, did a little grocery haul. Um, so I'll show you guys what I got. Actually, maybe Luke will show you what we got. You want to show him your trick? Should we show YouTube your trick? Okay, Luke. The Frenchie, the talented Frenchie. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. <laughs> we can't let you go out like this, Luke. Uh-uh. Okay, ready? Set. Go. Yes! <laughs> Turn out of ten! Turn out of ten! <laughs> All right, you guys, this is a pretty typical grocery haul for me, so I'll go over what I got. Um, baby spring mix, I love to use this in majority of my meals just to add some volume. Um, asparagus, spinach, I use the spinach mostly um, in my smoothies and I'm actually gonna make one in this video so stay tuned for that. Jasmine rice, it's a staple carb, I just love it so much. There's no particular reason why I like it other or that I use it other than that I just really like it. Um, I got some frozen berries and frozen fruit. This one is a tropical fruit blend. It has strawberries, mangoes, and super sweet pineapples. <laughs> and then I got two bags of frozen blueberries. I like to buy the frozen ones because I also use those in my smoothies. Um, I got some stevia. Luke, what are you doing? Trouble. <laughs> I got some green beans. These are the fresh green beans. I just love them. They taste so good. Um, and I actually like to cook these in the air fryer. Same with the zucchini. Making um, zucchini chips in the air fryer. You guys, if you don't have an air fryer, honestly, like, get one now. Um, I got a couple of tuna packets. I love these just for like quick on the go protein sources. Also making um, like a little tuna spread that I mix with honey mustard and I put that on a rice cake. Um, really good. Maybe I'll show you that little combo in the next video. Um, egg whites, almond butter. I usually buy the smooth. However, they were out, so I guess we're gonna try the crunchy this time. I'm usually not a crunchy fan, but we'll see. Um, what about you guys? Are you a smooth, team smooth, or team crunchy? Uh, got some sriracha, 
honey mustard, staple condiment, literally put it on everything. For proteins, I love these uh, just frozen wild caught cod fillets. Um, and then I eat a ton of ground turkey. It's just like such a versatile protein. Um, you can make meatballs, you can chop it up into like more of a ground type style and use it for tacos, um, meat for like pastas that I use a lot of cauliflower gnocchi um, so yeah this is a typical grocery haul for me um, I also forgot to get almonds and avocados I use those very very regularly so I'm gonna walk down to the little market here in my neighborhood they have like little odds and ends that I'll pick up those there also it was a really good day today because let me show you guys I ordered, oh, hello. I ordered a grande, please don't mind the self tanner on my wrist, but I ordered a grande and they gave me a venti. You know it's a good day when you pull up to the drive-thru and they upgrade you for free. Yes. I would share this little snack with you guys. It is just one packet, one packet of tuna, um, some honey mustard on top, and I'm gonna squirt a little sriracha in there. Sriracha. Mix it up. Taste it. See if it's good. Mmm. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to spread it on some rice cakes. Stay tuned. And here we have rice cake number one. There's a little bit left. Um, so I'll they probably just eat it and then make another rice cake with some almond butter. Live taste test. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. This snack never fails me. Guys, try this. It's so good. What is up, fam? I'm just at the desk, working as usual. Um, have had a bunch of client phone calls today, client check-in day. Let's kind of recap. So I showed you my first meal of the day, um, which was the turkey meatballs, the white rice, and the spinach. Um, and then I had a snack, which was an RX bar, a protein shake, and a banana. Um, I also had some rice cakes with tuna. Um, I snacked on some almonds that I didn't show you either. Uh, then I went to Whole Foods and put a whole bunch of crap in my box and had just like a massive feast. <laughs> Um, and then I came home and had a smoothie, um, and I didn't record that, and I was going to have one today so that I could film it and show you guys, but I'm just, I'm not craving it. And when you're an intuitive eater, you eat what you feel like eating, and I just haven't felt like having a smoothie. But you guys, it's such a bomb smoothie, and it's actually a smoothie that has helped tremendously with my gut health. Um, so to help you guys out, since I don't feel like making the smoothie today, I'm going to put the recipe in the description box. It not only tastes bomb, but I kid you not, it will prime up your digestion like no other, okay? So earlier, if you guys rewind in the video when I was talking about my eight week challenge and how I'm jumping into it, um, and I'm just, I'm looking at this in such a different mindset and light than I used to look at um, targeted and structured nutrition. Uh, it's no longer something that I feel like I need to do in order to validate myself or to feel worthy. I know that some of you watching this might be able to relate to that where you have those feelings of, man, I'll finally be happy when I reach this weight or I'll finally feel confident when I can wear X, Y, Z. And I am telling you guys, I have been at the leanest of leans and I've been at the opposite end of the spectrum and happiness has absolutely freaking nothing to do with your body. Um, it has everything to do with you showing up and making commitments 
to yourself and it has everything to do with your heart with the value that you give and with your mindset and that is why mindset is such a big factor of this eight week challenge and why i'm not re even rewarding solely based on physical change i want to see that the women in here are working on making lifestyle changes that they're working on making massive mental and emotional shifts that will then translate into every other area of their lives and so personally for me i'm actually pumped to jump into this challenge i've been desiring a challenge um i have felt a little bit stagnant in this area in my life and sometimes stagnant isn't always a bad thing um, but I recognize that I've gotten comfortable you know and as humans we are goal-driven beings we thrive in life when we are working towards a goal if you've ever felt stagnant in life or have feelings of unfulfillment right now ask yourself am I working towards a goal and if you're not revisit your goal setting worksheets and set some really big goals for yourself you guys again like psychology really does tell us that as humans we thrive when we're working towards a goal and so i am just really excited to jump into the challenge with my challengers and just do it right alongside them too i think that it will just add further motivation as well for all of us to just be doing it together um so with the challenge we are doing weekly coaching calls that also will be recorded because I know that not every single person will be able to be on the call at the time that they're done live. Um, so they'll be recorded for a replay. And what's cool is if you are somebody in the challenge, you will get access to those trainings and those calls forever. It is your resource library for life. Um, and within those calls, they're going to be highly focused on mindset, but then also focused on relationship with food, sustainability, so creating a macro-based plan um, that actually delivers balance to your life while also delivering you to your goals and actually educating you on how to structure your own macros based on whatever your goal is and whatever season of life you are in. So my ultimate goal is for you to leave this challenge feeling like you have the tools, strategies, skills, and knowledge to make progress and sustain your results regardless of how your goals shift throughout your life. Um, we are also going to have an entire training module on exercise and how to design a workout program that fits your needs, your body, and your lifestyle and goals. Um, and then lots of trainings on digestive health, bloating, I know it's something that so many of us struggle with um, and that I have become so passionate about to the point where I literally went and sought out a digestive health specialist certification. Um, so we will be having full trainings on digestive health, putting tools and strategies in place to beat the blow literally once and for all. Um, and then lots of, like I said, mindset trainings as well. That is just my passion, my area of expertise, and I would attribute it to being the missing piece of the puzzle and why so many people never fully experience their potential in life, whether it be your fitness goals, your career goals, your relationship goals, it all starts up here, you guys. And so if I can help the women that I work with make even the smallest mindset shift, that's everything for me. Um, so this, like I said, this challenge will be largely mindset focused, also then with a focus on balance and relationship with food and actually educating you so that you leave these eight weeks with an immense amount of tools and strategies under your belt to then go and sustain these results and actually continue making progress without me. <laughs> um, and this is actually the last, first and last time that I will be doing this live. Afterwards, it will become a self-paced course. Um, so. It's just gonna be such an incredible experience and an opportunity. Um, if you're listening to this and you're like, Karen, this sounds like everything I need in my life right now. I've been stagnant. I need a goal to work towards. And on top of that, also receiving not just a cookie cutter plan that after the eight weeks ends, you don't know what the frick to do anymore, but actually getting educated on how to create programming for yourself and sustain your progress and results long-term, then I seriously want you in. I want you in, girlfriend. Um, I'm gonna put the enrollment link in the description box. It'll be the first link there. It'll give you all the details, which I kind of just spilled them all out to you here. The cost of the challenge is $247 for the full eight weeks, and I know that I am completely over delivering for what that cost is. Um, it's literally such a freaking steal that comes out to the cost of literally like two nights out, two nice dinners out plus nights out. like. 
it's insane um but the reason that i wanted to do that you guys is so that it could be accessible for everybody um making massive transformation in people's lives truly is my passion and my calling and i want this to be something that regardless of where you're at in your life and in your journey that you can jump into and you can take action on and you can transform your life um so please you guys i encourage you if this is resonating with you at all click that link in the description box get yourself enrolled we start on monday the 12th don't think just do <laughs> If you have any questions about the challenge whatsoever, um, you can email me or you can just comment on the video. That's fine too. Um, if it's a personal question, I'm totally fine with you emailing me um, and I will answer any questions that you have. But I truly hope to see so many of you beautiful ladies in there. You absolutely deserve it. Um, I hope that this video was helpful and enjoyable for you. Um, and I want to know what else you guys want to see here on the channel. So let me know. Comment. All right, guys, love you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon.